field. The first of its kind procedure, virtual reality technology now being used by neurosurgeons at Johns Hopkins to treat patients who need major surgeries. Rachel Carden live outside the hospital for us tonight. And Rachel, we want to know how this technology is more efficient, not only more efficient, but it's safer and we understand it's more precise. That's right, Nicole. It's actually being called a game changer. And for the woman you're about to meet, it means that now she can go for walks on the beach with her daughters. She can play with her grandkids, all simple pleasures she couldn't enjoy before this surgery. For Kbar Toolis, the last 25 years have been so painful they hindered her life. The lower back pain got really bad. I couldn't walk far. I'd have to keep stopping, take a break. Walk a little bit, stop and take a break. A few weeks ago, she had back surgery at Johns Hopkins, a transformation she's calling a miracle. I'm doing so much better. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Witham. For the very first time, neurosurgeon Dr. Tim Witham used a technology on Kay that he describes as a game changer. It's called augmented reality surgery. When we take a computer image and we place that image on our view of the real world, Dr. Witham used this apparatus. Through it, he could see a full CT scan of Kay's body and with precision could navigate where the screws in her spine needed to be placed. And this allows for tremendous accuracy and precision. It's added confidence for the surgeon that we're placing the instrumentation correctly and accurately. Previous technologies pulled the doctor's eyes away from the patient to remote screens. This one brings them inside the patient's body. Kay says her results couldn't be better. Hopkins is one of the best hospitals in the world. World. So I felt very comfortable that I was in good hands. Call it a miracle, but he made it happen. For Kay, it's mobility and a normal life. For the doctor, the job continues to be about helping people. I mean, it's humbling too. And yeah, I'm very happy for the opportunity. Kay says not only is her back feeling better, but she also has more mobility in her neck. She hopes to be 100% recovered in the coming weeks. Outside of Johns Hopkins, I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.